I just made the cleanest music video transition in Premiere Pro, and I'm gonna show you how to do it in under five minutes. But yeah, it's about that time we hop into Premiere Pro, I show you how to do the transition, and you also like the video. So to do this transition, you're gonna need two clips that you wanna transition between, and then also a freeze frame or a picture. You can see here is the car clip that I wanna transition to, to this clip right here. And I actually wanna make this a freeze frame. So to do that, I'm gonna click on my clip, hold Alt on my keyboard, drag up, right click, and go to add frame hold. I'm gonna delete anything before that, and you can see now it's gonna be the car, and then it's gonna be a freeze frame. So I wanna Make this freeze frame or picture layer 10 frames long so to do that i'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and go to the right two times that's gonna be 10 frames i drag it right into that middle gap there and then i'm gonna cut out any of that clip here so it starts right at the car goes to the freeze frame and then goes to the third clip you can see this is what our clip looks like right now and then to get that paper texture i'm gonna use my paper texture rips and folds pack v2 by far the highest quality paper textures you can get and i'm gonna drag it in here scale to the frame scale it up just a bit so it goes off the edges and then i'm gonna highlight the freeze frame and the paper rip layer and nest them and we can just name this paper and then i'm gonna go inside that nested sequence and turn the paper layer to screen and just like that we have the paper layer already looking good. And then I'm gonna drag on the transform effect onto the nested layer. I'm going to uncheck, use composition shutter speed, bring the shutter angle to 180, keyframe the scale and rotation, and then go to right before the end, just so we can see what we're doing. Make the rotation something slight like negative three, positive three, whatever, and then scale in like 110 to 115. Let's go 110. And then I'm gonna highlight those keyframes, right click on them and go to Bezier, and then drag those ending keyframes just to the end so it finishes the movement. Now you can see we have something like that. That's looking pretty good already. And we wanna go to the first frame into the clip we're transitioning into, hold Alt on our keyboard, drag up, and then again, right click and go to add frame hold. That's gonna make the top layer a freeze frame. And then drag on the crop effect to that freeze frame layer and go to your pen tool and mask out your subject. Now once you've gone through and mask out your subject using the pen tool. Drag left to 100%. I'm gonna turn off that bottom layer just so you can see that's what your clip's supposed to look like. And then if we turn back on the background layer, you can see it's playing behind. Now what we wanna do is actually drag this clip so it ends right at the first frame. So now we can see if we play it, it transitions into the clip and starting to look a lot better. I'm gonna make this last like eight frames long. I'm gonna make it just a little bit longer. And what I wanna do at first is actually keyframe the opacity at the beginning and then go like three frames and turn the opacity to 100. I'm gonna bezier this as well, just so it's cleaner. The biggest part about this transition is using Gaussian blur. Go to Gaussian blur, make sure repeat edge pixels is selected. And then we're gonna go right to where it fades in, where we can actually see and keyframe it to right around like 80 is so looking good for us. It's gonna be dependent on your clip, keyframe it, and then go all the way to the end and make that zero. I'm also gonna just bezier that to make it smoother. Now the transition is looking a lot cleaner. And we're actually gonna add some transform on here just to give it a little bit of movement. Make sure to uncheck the composition shutter and also make the shutter angle 180. I'm gonna scale it at the beginning at like 125 and then go to the end and just reset it. Again, highlighting the keyframes and beziering them. Now the transition is looking way smoother. What I'm gonna do is now drag on my Le Shake preset from my energy pack. That way it just has a little bit of movement when it comes in. You can see it shaking like that. It just adds a little bit more of that like movement and just makes it a little bit more interesting. Now I'm just going to add on a film burn to kind of solidify the effect and just make it a little bit smoother of a transition. I'm going to use the film burn sprocket six from the Cinepax film effect pack. If you want to snag it, I'll have it linked down below. Use code Brian five, five dollars off. I'll support the channel. But first off, I'm going to scale it up a bit because I think that sprocket looks a little corny, so I don't want it there. And then I'm going to turn the blending mode to linear dodge add. Any of these here, light and screen color dodge will all look good, but I think linear dodge add is my favorite. I'm going to find where it goes full flash for a second, and I'm going to cut out the majority of that. So cut it out here and then let's see what this clip looks like. And just like that, we have the quick flash at the end and that's pretty much the whole entire transition. If you made it all the way to the end, if you could do me a favor, drop a like, drop a comment. When this video gets to 1500 likes, I'm gonna be sending some of my packs and presets to a few of the commenters down below. And I just hit 15K on Instagram. If you're not following me on there, be sure to do that. I always post tutorial ideas and just interact with you guys on there and it's really fun. The BOGO sale is ending today at 11.59 Central Standard Time. So if you're watching the video before it, go ahead and check it out. If not, you missed it. It was the biggest sale I've ever done. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.